Body Paint 3D is a very powerful 3D texturing application and it works with most 3D apps. It will work with 3ds Max, Maya, Cinema 4D, Soft Image and Lightwave 3D. Here I'm going to show you a bit about how it works and why it's good. First off let's see some examples that have used Body Paint 3D so you get an idea of where it fits in and what it can do. The examples we're seeing here are from popular movies and they all use Body Paint 3D for a lot of the texture work you're seeing on screen. It's used for characters, also for background environments, environments such as mountains and trains and pretty much any complicated or indeed simple texture work you want to do. Body Paint gives you all the tools of an image editor um, and then you can use them inside a 3D environment and it makes it very easy to texture models. Very popular in games usage as well. Here's some examples from some well-known games such as Fever Pinata and very popular for character work so where you want to have very detailed looking characters. Okay so here we're in 3ds Max and to transfer to Body Paint there's simply a plug-in and you say transfer to Body Paint. Principle is the same with any major 3D app that I mentioned previously. Once in Body Paint we can run the Paint Setup Wizard to recalculate UVs and create materials onto our character. So here I'm adding a color channel and a bump channel. Finish and Body Paint will add these materials to my character. And we're nearly there. So that's created textures on loads of separate objects in this case because this character is made up of about 45 different objects. And now I'll show you a little bit of texture work. First of all the paint bucket icon. And as you can see on the left you've got uh, a lot of tools that are very similar to many image editors. So paint bucket icon unsurprisingly fills things. So here I'm just filling parts of this object and you can see I don't have to click from object to object I can just click in the main screen so even though they are all individual objects I can just texture without really having to worry about that I just click on what I want to texture so click 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 done and now let's have a look at another tool we'll just use the burn tool so like I said very similar to a lot of image editors and you can link things such as your graphics tablet to any of the settings there's a lot of settings you can play with like pressure hardness things like that and here I'm just painting a little bit of burn onto his hat and now I'm going to use the dodge tool on here just bring out some of the lightness on the hat just to add a bit of sort of interest to the texturing and the nice thing here is I'm painting directly onto a 3D model and I'm not having to worry about UVs or anything like that body paints taking care of all of that work and we'll see that in a bit more detail later how it helps with those. The UVs can be from your existing app like 3ds Max or you can use body paint to edit them if you wish in most cases. So a little bit more painting there onto the character. When we're finished we simply send the scene back and away it goes back to 3ds Max in this case. I'll just activate the maps you can see the changes have been done and we'll go and render and it's that fast that's how the workflow actually works okay let's have another look at an example and here we're just going to have a look at some of the paint tools so we've got things like a uh, gradient tool and to use the gradient we just work in like the same in many image editors drag from one place to the next and there's our gradient and we've got all typical settings so if you know image editor you'll probably pick up most of these tools very fast they work in a very similar fashion okay so other tools we've got let's go and grab that dodge uh, no the burn tool and you can see I can mess with things like shadows, midtones, maximum exposure and I'm just painting a little bit of dodge on here to darken, uh, sorry burn to darken out bits onto the object so a bit of dirt and damage and here's some of the brushes that you get uh, inside Body Paint 3D so these ones are quite clever because these are what are called multi brushes and they'll actually paint in several channels at the same time. I can also paint on layers if I like, so I've got a full layering system just as I have in other applications. You can even set that up to PSD format if you'd ever like to flick into Photoshop. That's not a problem either. So here I've just got a, like a kind of noisy rusty type brush that's painting in both the colour and the bump at the same time. And I can use this with my tablet no problem 
and the little blue dots that you might see in the settings there for size, pressure and rotation mean it's linked to my tablet so as I push harder on the tablet I'll get more pressure or size or whatever it's linked to. So I'll keep painting away here just to add bits about it. So like we saw before one of the nice things with body paint is you don't have to worry about the textures or flicking from one app to the next you're working in a 3D environment and the interface is very similar to our main 3D app which is Cinema 4D uh, because it's basically the same tool all the Cinema 4D functionality is in here so it's a proper 3D app so you can spin around uh, you can do all sorts really in body paint um, so you got the full tool set so just a little bit of damage here but one of the nice things is you can, because you're able to view around in a 3D screen, or you can flick to a 2D viewport at any point, just like you can in Cinema 4D, uh, it's very easy to text the model and see what it's going to look like for the final environment. You've also got selection tools, so here I'm just going to make a selection, and when I've got that selection, that now makes it easy to paint on that particular area of the model. So I'll go and grab a brush again. There's a brush that will do. I'll pick a color. I'm going to pick a dark black. And here I'm just going to do the screen. So that's how you can get a very clean cut painting on there. And a little dodge tool. Just going to grab my brush and affect the shadows and just lighten up the shadows just to give that kind of light tint onto the texture of what you'd have if it was dark glass. So you, you can obviously fake that look or have that created when you render. Uh, another nice thing you can do is text and you can also take a uh, logo such as that and the projection cut and paste works very nicely in that it will project it plainer to the camera stamp it onto the model and it doesn't really matter whether the UVs are messed up or broken body paint will take care of all of the work of actually putting that nicely on the model so that looks good to the camera so there we go and I can mess with the opacity so different mixing modes again similar to like you having a lot of different image editors and you've also got layers on layers off hidden layers you've got set visible layers uh, so just create another layer here another little decal so you can see projection cut and paste works really nicely it's very fast to do simply open the texture copy it paste it and that's applied onto the 3D model. So it's hiding all the technology that's needed to do this complicated texture work. This is normally quite a bit of work of flicking from your image editor to 3D. Other things you can do, we can change things like the levels. So again, typical to an image editor. And I can do that by layer or over the whole image if I like. So I'm just playing around with the levels a little bit there just to fade that in a bit. I can also adjust the HSV, hue, saturation and uh, variance and I see a little preview here and I can see it in the main screen as well so it's very easy to use all of these and of course this is so many steps if you wanted to keep varying backwards and forwards to an image editor this is just so much time whereas in body paint you just do the whole thing in the one application okay so other things we've got so just play with some more mixing modes let's do another texture there's another one and you can see here in the textures you can have transparency as well so when you cut and paste it the transparent parts will stay transparent which is quite nice so here I've just got a kind of like a little porthole I just pop that on and again all I'm doing to paste is just hit enter and then it's popped onto the layer for me and again mixing modes and you can have as many layers as you want really you can set that as deep or shallow as you like 